sadly, the issue of security has never been more important to our industry. Under terrorism, uh, harm is caused by a threat agent. With the threaded uh, environment that we uh, see today, uh, it's not a question of uh, if, it's a question of when. The time has come for us to, in this industry, to all take responsibility for improving safety and security. We are here to introduce to you today the Exhibitions and Meeting Safety and Security Initiative. We're proud that you've chosen IMEX America to launch this and look forward to working with you all further in the coming years and months. Over time, MC hopes to build a public-private partnership that aligns Convention Center security guidelines with federal programs and the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Safety Act office. So the risk landscape that we have today is one that's very, very challenging. You know, we have many threats out there that uh, may not manifest themselves except under very uh, low probability of occurrence, but when they do manifest themselves, they become very, very consequential. The United States uh, meetings and exhibition industry is worth over $280 billion with a B. If we have an incident that is disruptive in any convention center in the United States, it will have very negative impact on the economic well-being of our industry, not unlike what we all experienced during 9-11. We want to be in front of it. We want to be prepared make sure that we harden our targets. Partnering and supporting organizations are bringing industry stakeholders together to encourage action. The fact that the, uh, the industry is taking on, you know, developing security guidelines that can be submitted for Safety Act protection is groundbreaking. The show managers make the decision of what their security programs are going to be. So it's important that uh, the service contractors and, and uh, those that produce and present shows are involved in this as well. Future MC guidelines and best practices may center on both cyber and physical security. Many venues have hundreds of doors, loading docks, and other access points. On any particular event, we can have as many as two or 3,000 workers out on the show floor working. Well, we need to know who they are. We need to vet those people. We need to make sure that they are supposed to be where they are. You can have multiple venues taking place within one convention center. So you could have, you know, high profile figures, uh, high risk, you know, events taking place alongside of others that, you know, might have a, a much lower risk. As we develop smart practices and guidelines, and they're certified by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Safety Act Office, we're going to be in a better position. We're going to minimize the risk and enhance the uh, efforts. But there's a cost involved. So whatever guidelines we put in place, buyers, meeting planners, show organizers, and all of the, the supplier vendors that support our industry are going to have to share in the cost of enhanced safety and security. This is not a for-profit program. This is a program that is uh, really taking care of the safety and security of human beings. 